tile left and right uh, windows uh, tile left and right i would like to create the enum states first uh. so it has a refresher has a benefit for all of you i would show you how to create the enum controller the con type definition control first so to begin let's go and search for the uh, ring and enum select the enum uh. so we need all the different states uh. i'm going to select this uh, enum okay just quickly show you again uh. Uh, right click uh, ring and enum select the enum okay so over here now let's uh, select this enum and uh, go to edit so after you selected make sure it's highlighted uh, by the way make sure this is highlighted go to edit uh, customize control okay so over here we are going to just quickly uh, edit the items uh, for our traffic light uh, stick machine this should not uh, come as a uh, something new la. we have done this earlier so i'm going to quickly insert all off the first state followed by uh, green on uh. shift enter uh, delay on green okay shift enter uh, green off uh, amber on shift enter press the shift and enter key on the keyboard uh, delay on amber so that to go to the next line shift enter uh, amber off uh, red on shift enter and finally you have the delay on red okay so after you have done the inputting the the items uh, for the different states uh, so from zero to six uh, make sure you have all these items uh, all off green on delay on green uh, green off, amber on, delay on amber, amber off, red on, and then finally delay on red. And this cycle will repeat itself. Okay, after you're okay with that, we'll click OK. Now, I this is the important part. Huh? You need to make sure you select this thing called the type definition. Huh? Type def, eh? remember. This one is quite important. Select the control. Okay, select the second one called type def. Type definition. Huh? Then go to file, save as. Okay, now I have created, I already created a new folder, uh, but let's call it uh, QSM. Okay, since this is the, the final uh, QSM uh, traffic uh, light controller. Okay, so I'm going to save this uh, enum uh, control. I'll call this um, uh, state control one okay i'm going to call this with this name called state control one okay state state control one dot ctl okay state control one dot ctl click save all right then i'm going to close this and if it asks you whether you want to uh, replace this uh, say it's okay say click yes and just click save okay so we have created the enum control so what you can do is that uh, for this enum control, you can right click and create a constant. Eh? Okay, so you have the different states uh, that will appear. So do examine this. Uh, so make sure you have all the different states as shown over here. Okay, now uh, I have also created this. Uh, currently it's a, a blank VI. Uh, I'm going to go to go to file, save as. Eh? Okay, I'm going to save this in the uh, folder that I've created also. So I'm just going to quickly navigate it to my folder so you can create your own folder uh, QSM traffic light controller right I'm going to call this um, QSM main uh, QSM traffic uh, light controller okay so this will be my main program eh? M E I N okay so I have this main program I'm going to click OK so right so with that uh, i'm going to also quickly create the leds okay just a refresher this one i'm just going to do it rather quickly okay so i have the leds i have the red okay the red leds uh, okay the red right the amber as well as the green uh. i'm just going to very quickly do this it's basically quite a repeat of what we have done earlier okay amber and then this one is green G -R -E -N. okay this is green 
and uh, at the same time uh, I would also change the color of the LED uh. right click properties okay properties and we'll change the color to an appropriately to be red okay so so when I switch on this it should gives me red this is amber right so I'm gonna go to properties change this color to amber okay and then obviously this is green so that's fine. We have these three uh, LEDs over here. I'm going to put it on this side. Uh, at the same time, I'm going to quickly drop a decoration uh, recess box here. Okay, the recess box we did this in the last time. Decoration recess box. I'm going to enclose this uh, traffic light. Eh? And I also would paint it to become black in color. Black black color paint it black okay after I painted it black I would like to select this object and uh, use the reorder tool uh, at the top there okay send it to the back move to back okay so that should hold it so we should have this very quickly done up very very quickly all right now we are going to proceed to the more important part which is this uh, QSM design uh. now if you refer to my PowerPoint slides earlier we're going to create this eh. As you can see over here, I'm just going to quickly show you now. We need to have this uh, Q state machine, QSM design. So, uh, if I allow me to briefly explain, so in the beginning of this program, you have the obtain Q. Uh, we are going to create a Q. The Q purpose of the Q mechanism is to hold the different states of this traffic light state machine. Eh? Okay, so I'm going to create a, a Q, uh, obtain Q, then I'm going to enqueue the very first state which is all off okay before switching into the this uh this is a while loop uh, by the way this is a while loop that followed by a k structure over here now this program is uh designed in such a way that you have the dq function uh, the dq element in the front here okay the dq functions are up here so every time the next state all the different states are housed in this k structure so you have all the different the seven cases right zero to six cases there are a total of seven cases are housed in here so over here as a brief overview uh, this each of these case structure will enqueue the next state element okay the next state element will be enqueued into the enqueue element and over here the at the front here this program will then dequeue the state that you put in okay so uh it is quite straightforward uh, in a sense eh? but i would hope that you can spend time to understand the the programming logic behind this uh. all right so let's without further ado let's get you switch you back to the uh, block diagram and get started so uh to begin we would need a while loop okay i'm just going to show you step by step how we create this so we need a while loop okay we need a while loop uh okay then uh, we need a k structure also so right click uh, structures select the k structure okay so we have a k structure now this while loop has to be slightly a little bit bigger now i'm going to maximize the block diagram for the time being uh, because we need a bit of space eh, in this design okay so i'm going to do this first uh over here now i also need another k structure for the front which are the for reason which i'll explain later uh. Okay, we need a key structure here. Uh, let's right click, put a wait millisecond timer. So maybe it's good to also add a timer to control the loop rate. Uh. Let's say we put uh, 100. Now uh, go to the uh, synchronization palette. Okay, go to the queue operations. We're going to obtain a queue. Uh. Obtain a queue here. Okay, turn on the label obtain a queue now since these are the different states of the traffic light right we are going to define the data type for this particular uh, queue so i'm going to right click over here give my queue a name i'm going to create a constant and i'll call this my qsm all right i also i would like to define the state so i would use 
the I mean define the element the type of data that is going in so I'm going to wire this enum constant into the element data type as you can see over here uh, and then I will proceed to enqueue the first element right because when the first uh, program starts I'm going to initialize right so I'm going to use this thing called enqueue element uh, I will wire the queue out queue reference out to the input of the NQ element and then wire the Q out okay, as shown in this uh, block diagram here. So uh, now this part here is to define the data type. Huh? So uh, really I need to NQ the first element into this element NQ here. So this is mainly for the initialization part. You are telling the state machine to go to the first state which is all off. Okay, so let's pass the reference. Now in the code, I think they use the shift register, right? So maybe to be consistent. Uh, so let's add, say, a shift register here. Okay, add the shift register to pass in the, the, the Q reference. Actually, it doesn't really matter. You can use uh, just a tunnel as well. Okay, now let's try to uh, move on. Now, uh, we have this is a case uh, structure here. Uh, I would like to create a stop button. Uh. Okay, I need to create a stop button. I create a stop button. Let's say if I use this uh, loop iteration condition terminal here, right click, I'll create a control. Uh. So naturally, he gives me a stop button. So I'm going to pull this object to here. Now we have to think of a way where you can terminate this uh, particular uh, QSM uh, pattern. So what is the good way to do it is to wire the stop to the loop condition terminal here. Now at the same time, the output of this stop button should go into this particular case. Okay, which I will explain to you shortly. Yeah. So you could have a true or false case. So when the user clicks on the stop button, it will switch to true, right? Now we have to think of a way to uh, to so-called destroy the queue and stop this whole program. Okay, but if the user do not do anything, doesn't click on the stop button, then your program should uh, just carry on the, the function to dequeue the element. So let's take a look over here. Let's go to synchronization. Go to take the uh, dequeue element uh, and put it here. Now I would suggest you also put uh, this uh, there's there's only one uh, DQ element. Uh, sorry about that. So you sh you can uh, make a few copies, uh, or if you like, copy the NQ element function to be placed at so called uh, workspace. Uh, you can have a little workspace here. So I'm going to wire the she register this the the Q reference to the this uh, DQ element. Now do remember that your program should only have one DQ element. Okay, you can have multiple NQ element function, but there should only be one DQ element function as shown in this diagram here. So I will proceed to wire the rest as shown. Okay, so uh, now for the true part, uh, the true case is whereby we will destroy, right? Imagine if the user clicks on the stop button, you will terminate this while loop at the same time we have to do something in this true case. Okay, so the most natural thing is to destroy the queue. So let's go to synchronization uh, queue, right? There's this thing called flush queue. Okay, so you select this object flush queue uh, function. Okay, and you will destroy the queue because if the user clicks the stop func button, right? You want the user is showing intention to destroy or terminate this uh, function over here all right so you will wire the element out okay to the case output and wire to the next case selector over here please wire it with care wire to the case selector as shown here okay now many a times we see students wire the output to just uh, elsewhere in the case structure which will give you error so please make sure you wire correctly to the case selector, the one with the question mark here. Okay, so wire here to here has shown. 
okay so what you can see now you notice that if you wire it correctly your this k structure will change the selector label uh. call now is green on you see so if you see that you have currently two states uh, all off and green on so what you can do is to populate the num the additional number of states what you do is that you select the k structure as over here is what i do right click on your mouse so you will add case for every value add case for every value okay so let's do that right click add case for every value so after you've done that you should see that the total number of cases is seven uh, it has been populated accordingly and all the different uh, cases as shown okay so let's move on to look at the next part uh. now over here we have done we have come quite a long way so uh okay coming back to this this portion here what, what do we do with the flush queue so we also will wire the remaining elements oops sorry okay so maybe what we do is that in this flush queue we will not do anything we will just right click use default if unwired uh. okay so let's uh, zoom in again so if you use default if unwired then your this uh, output tunnel here will be fully uh, she will change it into blue in color which is completed lah, in a sense okay now let's then move on to the individual part here okay where we will control the the uh, program itself eh. so allow me to right click visible items the sub diagram label i'm just going to label this accordingly this is called a wow loop okay this is optional if you want okay this is a wow loop and move this over so what are we going to do here is that we are going to do the very much the same as what we did earlier except that we will enqueue uh. so what i do is that i'll make a copy of this enqueue element into the each case eh. so um push pushing it down to here this terminal and wire the reference out of the dq to the input of the enqueue uh. okay as you can see over here what i'm trying to do and wire this over to here So and wire the error out to the output as shown over here. So the first case is that uh, after all of right the next state you always consider what is the next state. Huh? So I also would copy a uh, wait millisecond delay into the the wait wristwatch delay huh, into the uh, particular case. So for this one maybe what I will do is that we will include a one sec. Uh, one second delay la. okay over here so the next case after the all off I'm going to right click on the input of the element here create a constant eh. so the next state should naturally be green on right okay do remember the next state is green on so if I were to put the label la, okay and I would call this the next state eh. Please do remember, this is called the next state. That you're always planning ahead for the next state for your program. So the next state will be green on. Okay, but in the meantime, uh, please bring a pull your three uh, LED indicator into this particular case, right? And we'll wire a constant to switch off. Okay, put a constant here to switch off the three uh, LED, uh, the red, amber, and the green as shown over here. Okay, so then we can proceed to the next part. Okay, now I would like to also create a local variable for each. Uh, so create a local variable, select the amber, right click on your mouse, create a local variable, and the green one as well, create local variable. So I'm going to design, proceed on to the next state, which is the green on. Okay, so for the green on, what we do is uh, we will pull in the NQ element as shown. Okay, wire up the reference. Okay, as shown. 
okay and then we will do very much like what we did earlier okay let me show you so after the green is on right uh we can pull one of these local variable for the green and we will switch on the constant right to be true because at this particular case here we are going to turn on the green okay so uh turn on the green and uh, i'm going to uh, put the next state uh, the enum which is the next state after green on we are going to proceed to delay on green right delay on green i'm going to wire this delay on green to the element of the next one and also put this label uh. so this is called the next state this is the next state okay the next state will be delay on green okay so when you enqueue this delay on green into the enqueue element the lab view the next iteration will dequeue this uh, state uh, called delay on green and this case structure will be able to switch to the next case uh. okay Right, so let's proceed now. Delay on green. So I'm going to put the weight millisecond in here. I'm going to delay for one second. Okay, and then also at the same time, do remember to tell your program to go to the next state. Okay, go to the, proceed on to the next state. So uh, the next state after delay on green should be uh, green off, amber on, right? green off amber on has shown green off amber on so this is the next state okay the next state so we're going to continue on the design the green off amber on so i'm going to pull the nq again okay and wire this accordingly now after a while this uh, uh way of doing becomes a rather mechanical uh, as you can see over here so currently we are on this uh uh, green off amber on green off amber on so i'm going to bring the local variable for the green okay and the uh, amber into the this particular case and i'm going to switch on the respective uh, led so this is green is going to be off and amber will be turned on right so it has shown over here then we tell the program to proceed to the next state so i'm going to create a constant so the next state after green off amber is to delay on amber okay so this is the next state of the cycle uh. so it's going to be has shown green off amber on the next state will be delay on amber so at the same time you also control the led okay the respective uh, uh, led through using the local variable Okay, so uh, next day, delay on amber. I'm going to move to delay on amber. I'm going to wait here, right? For delay on amber, I'm going to include a one, sec a one second delay. Then, same thing, pulling in the NQ element function. Okay, to wire accordingly, as shown. Uh. Okay, you would follow the program. And the next state after delay on amber, okay, is going to be... Uh, amber off and red on right amber off red on as shown in this diagram so over here you, during the delay you do not switch on or off the leds you just leave it as the last state and proceed to amber off and red on okay so let's go to amber off and red on and it's going to be the same i'm going to bring the nq element into the particular case okay uh wire the error out to the next thing over here so and then consider the next case uh. so the next case will be after uh, amber off it will be uh, amber off red on it will be delay on red eh. so this will be my uh, last so called sequence uh, in the in this portion here but of course this sequence will repeat itself eh. so amber off red on so I'm going to put the amber and then also the red so the amber will be off okay amber off red will be switched on as shown over here all right and uh, this will be again be the next state uh. okay so proceed to the last case uh. this is the delay on red uh. this will be 
my last case that I need to wire up. Okay, wire up this part here. And uh, after delay on red, it should go back to all off. Eh? Okay, so the cycle will repeat itself. Eh? So it goes back to all off. So at the same time, please remember to put in the wait millisecond delay. So let's quickly check. Uh, now those unused items should be removed. Eh? So I'm going to remove these items. Okay, so this should be removed as well. So you should get, you can check again. So let's go through. So you have green on, right? After in the original all off state, you will proceed to the next case. So you enqueue the green on to the enqueue element. So during this period of time, you will switch off the three LEDs. Right, the next state. So maybe this one, uh, you don't need this timer here. Right, wait millisecond timer. Okay, so we we'll proceed to green on. So uh, you will switch on the green. At the same time, you enqueue the next state, which is delay on green, right? For the next state. So I'm going to proceed to delay on green now. Uh, you should make sure that uh, during the delay on green case, uh, you have a wait millisecond delay, one second. And also you inform the program to go to the next state, which is uh, uh, green off, amber on, right? The next case. So I proceed. To the next case, green off, amber on, green off, okay, the force is tied to the green, true is tied to the amber, which is correct, then you proceed to the next case, which is delay on amber, then proceed, okay, delay on amber, so you have a wait millisecond delay, after delay on amber, you will go to amber off, red on, which is correct, huh? this is correct, so let's check, move on to the next case. So in this amber off red on, make sure you have amber off and red is turned on for the connection to the local variable is correct. And then this consider the next state, uh, which is delay on red. So delay on red. So delay on red, you have the delay here. And the final state is to recycle it back to all off. So this one looks okay. So let me just run the program to see the observe the effect. Uh. Yeah, so green, amber, red. Yeah, green, amber, red. Okay, so the program is actually functioning okay. Yeah? Now, I would strongly recommend students to uh, use the highlight execution. Uh, switch on this highlight execution mode. Okay, to observe how the program is flowing, uh, as you can see. Eh? So, this video is rather long. It's about uh, coming to 30 minutes of recording. Uh, but I would hope that uh, students can consider uh, studying the code in a bit more detail uh, by switching on the highlight execution and observing the flow of the program. Okay, and consider how the program switches from state to state. But the key here is that it relies on the DQ element function here to DQ whatever that is being placed into the NQ function over here. All right. So let's see if I if I were to click the stop button, right? Yeah, the program actually terminated. Do you see? When I click the stop for the stop button, right? This program should terminate, okay? Almost uh, immediately, okay? Through the use of the stop function here. Okay, I think I've come to the end of this uh, video recording. So uh, I hope now you for your time to give it a try to construct this program on your own. Uh, if you have any doubts or uh, difficulty, you can always refer back to the video and see how I created the, the, the QSM, a Q state machine. Okay, I thank you for watching this video and I'll pause my recording now. Thank you.